I had an opportunity to, uh, to write a letter that I'll be placing in, this, uh, in this, this box. It's sealed. Only I know the contents of this letter. Um, I wrote to, uh, to the governor of Utah in, in 21-22, and I told him a little bit about what was happening here. I bragged about our state, the prosperity that we have. I made sure that they knew that we had the best economy in the, in the country and uh, that we were the fastest growing state in the country. I made sure that they knew that we led the nation in volunteerism and uh, that we led the nation in charitable giving. Um, I wanted them to know that Utah was different today, a hundred years before. Utah was really unique, um, that we got along, that we worked together, that we tried to find ways to solve the, the, the greatest problems that we were facing, and that we tried to do it together regardless of our, our faith backgrounds, our racial backgrounds, or our political backgrounds. My hope and my promise to them is that our administration and the legislators that, that we work with, the elected officials, that we were really trying, that we're doing everything possible to unify as a state and to solve the biggest problems, not for us, but for future generations. That we really are looking out to them and hoping that, uh, that our efforts will not be in vain. That Utah 100 years from now will be an even better place than it is today to live, to work, to raise a family. That's, that's my hope. And then I asked them if they would do the same, that 100 years from now that they would make that same promise, that instead of just trying to solve the problems of their day, that they would be looking forward to future generations, that we always leave Utah a better place than we found it. And that's my, my hope for this time capsule, that as they look back, they'll say, they'll look back with gratitude at the decisions that were made, at the sacrifices that were made by the people of Utah in the year 2022 and that those sacrifices paid off in the year 2122.